Did you know that the mobile phone we use today was created by an African just like you and I, and not Europeans like we have been made to believe? We were told that every technology we use today was created by Europeans. That is the general concept or the general belief in Africa. But it is not so. That me and you are able to make calls, to chat, to move around with a mobile phone and get cellular network from a cell tower was made possible by an African man named Eugene Jesse Russell in 1988. And I would like to welcome you to yet another interesting and engaging episode at Voice of the Sun. Today we'll be setting the record straight and schooling our brainwashed brothers and sisters who always insist that we should drop our cultures, our traditions, our dinana, our menane, and we should drop our language as you see, but we should drop everything about us Africans and embrace that of the Europeans. Why? Because the gadgets and you know, the technologies we use today were all created by Europeans and given to us. Today, we're letting them know that not every gadget, not every technology out there was created by Europeans. It, actually, a whole lot was created by Africans like you and me. And the mobile phone, which is like the most widely used technology today in the world, the ability to, to, to move around with a phone and not be connected to power, that technology was created by an African man named... Jesse Eugene Russell in 1988. So, in 1988, the highly intelligent Jesse Eugene Russell uh, invented the concept for the wireless digital phone and communication while he was working as an engineer at the AT&T Bell Laboratories in the United States of America. Um, he developed the world's first digital cellular base station and he holds the patent for the digital services that many companies of the world use today. Before he invented the wireless mobile phone, the phones that we used, the, that was used in the world was basically, was permanently connected to a wire, a wire source, you know, for power, and was basically used in cars or in houses. And this was because the phones needed, you know, power to be able to transmit signals to cell towers. In those days, the power needed to drive a cellular phone was too much to fit into a small mobile phone like we have today. So and it was Russell's ingenuity uh, and invention that made it possible for mobile devices to transmit signals between each other and also with the cell towers that we find around our societies today. So Russell, he was the first African to be employed at AT&T Bells. Um, they are major, major companies who produce... Um, cell phones, even laptops. Among the first companies that produce cell phones in the world, AT&T Bell is a leading, um, is, a, is a pioneer in, in that field. So this um, guy, this our brother, was the first African to be employed by that particular company. Now, after spending so much money and time on trying to create a digital mobile phone, the white managers, the European managers of the company, called him into a meeting and explained their problem to him. Uh, they stated that they could only make money from calls when people were seated in their cars or when they were in their houses, you know. And they asked him if he could do something about it. Now, he told them that it was possible for him to create, you know, a mobile phone. And that it was also easy. And he took the project from those who were handling it and gave it some time. And then he invented the technology that we use and all enjoy today. Now, Russell also went ahead to invent other technologies and devices in the telecommunications industry. Now, some of them are, we have the base station for mobile radio telecommunication systems, which he invented in 1992. This is around, say, four years after he invented the mobile phone technology. And then he also invented um, a wireless communication base station in 1998. It's around see, 10 years after he invented the mobile phone technology. Now, he created a company called 
INC Networks, which focuses basically on 4G broadband services for various companies in the world. This company is actually still in existence today. The guy, this man, this brother who created the mobile phone, he's still alive. He's still alive. But funny enough, when you, when you search for invention of the mobile phone, you always find pictures of Europeans holding the phone and smiling. But the main person who has the patent, who holds the patent to the creation of the mobile phone technology, you might not necessarily see his pictures on the first page of Google till you type his name and say, Eugene Roussel invented the mobile phone. Then you see his picture. But this goes to show you that there's a whole lot we don't know as Africans. There's a whole lot we, a whole lot of praise we give to the Europeans and then make ourselves look little. Now, those of us who are at the forefront of pushing our, our, our language, our culture, our traditions, our ways has also been, has also been worthy of, of um, adopting. We are often met with this criticism like, why, why should I speak my language? Why should I, why should I uphold my culture? Why should I uphold my Igbo culture, my Igbo tradition? Why should I speak my Igbo language to my children? You know, when everything I have and use today was basically given to me by, you know, the white man. This is the, this is the general notion for me. This is what I get sometimes when I try to preach about, you know, consciousness, consciousness as an Igbo person or as an African. For you to be bold and be confident in who you are. Each time I, I talk about this, also talk about speaking our language, most of the comments I get from our people says, why? Why, what, what, what has, what has uh, going back to our ways of our ancestors contributed to, you know, the evolution of human, human life and human society. But many do not know that many of the gadgets we use today are basically produced by our own brothers, our own brothers. The mobile phone is one clear example. Now you find the Chinese, the Indians, all these other cultures of the world. They never, ever, ever put down their culture or tradition just because they, they, they get to use the mobile phone or they get to use computers or whatever. It is only we Africans, only especially we in Debo, we do not value ourselves, we do not value what we have. So I'm putting it to you that you have something as an African, you have something as an Igbo person. Someone that looks like you created the mobile phones we use today. Many, many of us don't know that. Now, one of the major reasons why we Africans do not even know that someone like us invented the mobile phone is because of the kind of education we have here in Africa, especially in Nigeria, you know, where history, first of all, is removed. When the Europeans came, they did not teach us about our abilities or what our ancestors were able to pr produce that some of the major artifacts in European museums were created by our own ancestors and is making them billions of dollars. They didn't teach us all those things. They taught us about their own history, about their own inventors, their Isaac Newtons and the rest. And at, so at that point, we were cut off from what we could do as a people. So first of all, the education we got back home here in Africa was limited to what we can do. And then we were all just taught certain aspects of, of um, life so that we can be funneled into um, servants, into a workforce for their, their civilization process in Africa. That's why you find most of the African inventors whom are, who, who invented things that are of, are of repute in the world today, in the past 300 years, are those who were sent or those who basically lived live in the united states or in europe those who their ancestors were enslaved and then they later got education outside there and then they are now they were now exposed to certain forms of education that could bring out that ingenuity in them yes back home here we still have that ingenuity but our system of education here suppresses ingenuity so you as an African, you, you are limitless. You can do anything as long as you channel your mind to the right type of education. Our brother who invented the mobile phone, Jesse Eugene Russell, 
is an African-American, like they would say. His ancestors were sold into slavery, and he grew up in the United States of America. From the foundational days till he, till he turned into an adult, he went to university. He was one of the brightest minds they had in his university days, and then he now got a job at at and t Bell. You know what it means to be the first African to get a job at such a big company? And then his intellect, his, the, the, the native intelligence inside of him, in running in his blood, in his genes, when combined with the education he got out there, helped him to invent something that still dates. The technology is still being used by major companies around the world. This message is going to our brainwashed brothers and sisters, Ndibo, Ndibo, you know, who have made us to believe that every modern technology was invented by a white man. Um, hope you've learned something today. When you go out there, share this, share this video, share it to others so that they can learn. I'll say it again. The mobile phone technology was created by an African man, a black man like you and I. So um, wherever you find this video, please do share, please comment. Um, let us know what you know about this topic. And um, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Share this video, like, turn on the notification bell on YouTube. Wherever you find this video, please do encourage us, engage with us. Till I come your way next time, it's Chukandine Sofu. Ndubanyi, Koordina, Demen, Dalono.